It's all good. With just the plan for today, we know that you have Michael Grove getting the start, but how do you see just kind of starter bullpen kind of playing out for today's game? Um, so Michael's going to start. Michael Grove will start. Um, the plan is for him to go two innings. And then um, we plan on running through our relievers, um, uh, Brazier, Hudson, uh, Vessia, uh, Phillips, and uh, Kyle Hurt uh, will throw uh, one to two innings. So I think that's uh, – then we've got some other backups. But then it'll be a bullpen day, and then tomorrow Bobby Miller uh, is going to start and go four to five innings, uh, followed by Gavin Stone tomorrow. For the position player side, is it going to be similar to Cactus League? How many at-bats? What's the plan for those guys? So off the top of my head, um, you, you guys have seen the starting lineup uh, today. Uh, Jason, Freddie um, will play nine. Gavin will play nine. Gavin Lux at second base will play nine. And then the other guys will split time. And um, Shohei will take two at bats today. Um, so, you know, some guys have to play nine innings because of how many guys we have we've brought to South Korea. And then, uh, then the other guys will kind of piggyback in the next day. Um, I think uh, Altman, uh, then the, 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 tomorrow, three guys will play nine innings as well. Fabian? Yeah, Dave, with Grove only going two innings today, is that sort of a sign for how you guys plan on using him going forward? I think so. I, I think so. I mean, you know, Michael, uh, to be able to go one inning, two innings, three innings, to be sort of a bridge guy right now um, makes a lot of sense given, you know, the construction of our pitching. Is he an option for the major league bullpen then to start the season if he's not going to be stretched out as a starter? Yeah, yeah, he is. A, he is a, certainly a viable option for, for uh, the pen for us to start the season, yeah. Next question, down here in the front one. So what does that mean for Gavin Stone? Then? Like, is he a, the major league starter like, for you guys coming out of break? Well, I mean, obviously we're, uh, we, we've got Gavin built up to uh, four innings, potentially five, so um, – you know, if it goes well, then, yeah, I mean, we could see him in that in that fifth spot, fourth or fifth spot. Bill? And with uh, Grove, we talked about this a little bit in spring and his splits. Uh, as, a, as a reliever, it would seem like you can tolerate that a little more. But do you think he has evened things out? Is he going to be more effective against lefties going forward? I, I think that's fair. I, I think he has improved it. Um, but I think, uh, yeah, he, he's not with the, with the cut fastball and the curveball usage. Um, so he's certainly better than he was a year ago. And, um, you know, for Michael, the challenge is to continue to, to prove that, um, you know, he's more neutral and not just a right-handed killer. So, um, you know, he'll get those opportunities. But, uh, you know, that kind of sweet spot of two to three innings and finding a lane for him you know, certainly has shown a lot of value for us. And what do you see the improvements that Stone has made to the point where he could be your fifth starter? I think with Gavin, um, a lot like a lot of our young pitchers, um, just kind of sharpening up the, uh, the command. And I use that word a lot because it's important. Uh, for Gavin Stone in particular, um, the low dart, the fastball down at the knees, uh, the change up off of that, um, the cutter, um, to the lefty. I, I just think for me, there's just a lot less arm side misses and he's been able to repeat his delivery. So for me, that shows a lot of uh, growth for him. Jack? Obviously the, the pitching staff last year had a lot of highs and lows over the course of the year. Just kind of how do you feel about the group right now as a whole on the mound um, and how much of a strength that, that could be for you guys? Um, I feel very confident in our pitching staff. I, I think that um, the first half was considerably uh, um, different than the second half. We were much better as a staff preventing runs in the second half. Um, some of it was self-inflicted as far as not being able to control the running game, um, pitchers not performing, the defense was shoddy at times. Um, in the second half, it all sort of came together and we performed. Um, so this year, um, you know, with Tyler and Yoshinobu and, you know, we got the other guys coming, Bueller and Kershaw coming, but Bobby Miller, I think he took a lot of strides 
Um, I think James Paxton, Paxton uh, is going to be big for us. And then the pen. There's a lot of veteran guys in the pen. So uh, very confident where we're at as far as the staff. And then with these two games, like, do you think they're going to feel like exhibitions? Do you think they're going to be more intense? Kind of what are you expecting these next couple of days? I, I think they're going to be intense. Um, I, I think certainly with the, uh, the pitching and running out different relievers tonight, and then or today, and then the, the position players sort of piggybacking and kind of mixing and matching is one part of it. But we're three days away from playing real major league games to open our season. So um, there's already a different vibe in our clubhouse where guys are starting to hone their focus, which they have to. Chris? Um, from my understanding, they will be using the KBO baseball and we'll be using the major league baseball. Does that pose any challenges primarily to the hitters or anything like that? You know what? I, I don't think so because um, for me personally, I don't know the specifics, the specs of, of that ball versus the Major League Baseball. Um, I, I know it's, they're certainly different, whether it's the seams, the weight. Um, I don't know if it's more advantageous for the hitters once contact is made. But I think the main thing is that our pitchers get to use something that's familiar to them to continue to prevent injury. So for us, um, it's baseball. There's going to be something white coming at us, and, and hopefully we can hit it more than swing and miss. But uh, outside of that, I think it should all be the same. Okay. Dylan? Uh, Dave, you overlapped with Channel Park in uh, San Diego, right? I did. So what do you remember him you know, about him like as a teammate, as a player, and – how neat do you think this moment's going to be for him when he throws out that first pitch? Um, I, I think it's going to be a very um, – I think Chan Ho's going to really embrace it. Uh, Chan Ho is a very good friend of mine, um, former teammate. And I think that, um, you know, it's sort of like a culmination for him, I would assume, because he was sort of – he was a pioneer um, as a Korean-born player to come to the States and to be a star player – and then to now have his former teammates and, and team that he played with come to his homeland, I, I think it's come full circle. And so it's only fitting that, um, you know, he throws out the first pitch. Um, I know he played golf with Trevor Hoffman, who's here with the Padres the other day. Um, so uh, he still has ties to people in the States, which is great. But I think for him to, to get to show off his country, I think is exciting. Really exciting. We're going to go to you in row, row two. Yeah, uh, Ji Ho Yu from Yanam News in Korea. I just wanted to ask you about an another, I guess, Korean player. You had him for a bit. Uh, Hyunjin Ryu. Uh, Ryu is back in Korea. He's actually pitching today later on the uh, preseason in the KBO. Just wondering if you had a chance to maybe reach out to him after you came to Korea and if you have plans to maybe just to kind of reconnect with him. You know, I, I haven't connected with Hyunjin. Um, I would love to see him. So if he sees this, come. Come hit me up, Hunjin. Um, I, I love him, man. I, I wish I would have been a teammate of his because he's a funny guy. He's a great competitor. And I think it's very cool that he can come back and play in the KBO. I think that's, that's fantastic. Um, yeah, I, I got nothing but great things to say about Hunjin. Okay, anything else for Doc? Okay. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, guys. Yeah.